Okay, guys, so I was gonna do one silent video today, you know. So, with the silent videos, if you're one of my spotters, you know that I normally do walking videos. I just move the the camera so they will not show people's cars and their numbers because I don't really want you know people to start asking me because this is a route that I take on a regular you know, when I'm going to the prayer garden so guys I said this is gonna be my silent video so enjoy the video Just one more thing. You can add music to my walking videos. I've got a lot of walking videos on the internet. You know, you can just go Google them, search for them. You can remove my voice. I don't really talk that much in, well, I try not to talk that much in my walking videos, apart from when I'm giving commentary, or I might just be having a random babble. But anyway, you can just remove all of that and just add your music, whatever music you like. And then you just add it, pop in your headphones and do your walking. Or just sit and relax, whatever. Because some people don't like walking. I don't know whether their doctor told them that they can't walk. <clears throat> I have to go and see him because I don't know if somebody is trying to remove my eye. <clears throat> I've got too many boots, otherwise maybe I would have taken these. I mean, these are solid boots. You see, only worn a few times. Oh, they're from Zara, guys. So, guys, those of you that are those of you that are local to the area. Those of you that are local to the area will know exactly where I am. Guys, see these boots? I don't know if they're men or women's, but I think it's unisex. So guys, gorgeous pair of boots here, just waiting to be given a new home. Enjoy. Don't say I don't give you anything. <coughs> Hello, we continue. Mm -hmm. My head they haunt, my head they haunt. No carry me play cause my head they haunt. I be bad girl too for No they carry me play. My head they haunt, my head they haunt. I be bad girl too for No they carry me play. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. God save us so. Save us from some songs People Jesus Guys, do you remember playing hopscotch when you were kids? Oh my god. I used to love playing that game. And when I was in Nigeria, I used to love playing Ten Ten. Guys, you know Ten Ten now, Abby? The one where you play and you clap your hand. You play with your friend, you clap your hand. And they will say, take one. Uh, take two. Take three. Take four. And then the next time, sometime we will use skipping rope. Hmm? Or as we used to call it then when we were kids, skipping rope. You cannot use my rope. Oh. This is my rope. I know my rope. Guys, did any of you ever fight over skipping rope? 
you know when you have your skipping rope that you normally use to play ten ten and all because some of us we were so good we got to the point where we start using rope and we'll be jumping we'll be playing ten 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 and then we use our skipping rope and then we will jump eh? we became so competitive with the whole thing even self we used to do tournaments we we, we will swap things eh? somebody will be a ten ten master obviously if you know how to do ten ten you know what i'm talking about do you guys know what i'm talking about <laughs> or are they going to say i has started again with her hmm? anyway as i am like this me i love nostalgia it's just the way that i am i'm not even apologetic about it so if i see somebody today that i can play 10 10 with i will be like the most happiest person in the world mm? i will play 10 10 with the person eh? i will buy skipping rope eh? even self i remember when the the ones that had money you know like the posh ones that used to travel overseas for holiday and all those kind of things they will come back with new skipping rope <laughs> guys i remember that time i was i was praying i said god please what how can how can i get myself a skipping rope <laughs> i had just normal rope but i would be saying to myself how can you know they had the skipping rope with the wooden with the wooden handle that was the one and the rope used to be twisted beige in color with the cord <laughs> i coveted that skipping rope <laughs> i know we like to you but anyway i will continue that story another day so that you guys can come back i can't give you guys everything in one go guys i'm a 52 year old woman i've got stories upon stories upon stories hmm? don't ever think that any of the stuff that you heard about me is all that you know hmm? and it's good i'm talking in a positive anyway guys so this is the prayer garden if you're one of my spotters you would have heard me talk about this prayer garden before i wish i had brought my camera to record it the last time i came to this prayer garden the last time i came to the prayer garden it was a mess you know there was no foliage it wasn't thriving it was a total mess and i just said i said i said abba father the next time i come to this garden is going to be completely different and everywhere is going to be in full bloom or words to that effect <laughs> i don't want the pedantic people to come and say eh, but i don't see any flowers what are you talking about so anyway you guys you know what i mean so look at it hmm? as you can see it's thriving guys even if you're somebody who is not religious if you're somebody who is struggling with the concept of a higher being because i know that a lot of people actually struggle with the concept of a higher being that has all this power and all of this control over us i know that a lot of people struggle with the idea but guys he exists as real as this my hand is god exists you could talk to him about anything you wanted no shame you know why there's no shame because he already knows that thing that thing that makes you so embarrassed that thing in your past that you've been worried about i want you to take it to god because god is god and he is so good he is so faithful i remember the way this garden was the last time i came and i made that prayer and he always answers me he always answers me he never ceases to amaze me look at this garden i can't even believe it's the same garden my goodness i can't believe it's the same garden just look at this it's looking the way I always expected it to look. Obviously, the flowers are coming up. Guys, I want you to know that God is real. I don't know what you're dealing with right now. It's not about judgment. It's not about shame. Some people are ashamed to talk to God. He already knows that thing that you're worried about. That thing that you're stressed about. When he says, cast your burdens on me. Guys, it is no empty talk. God is real. God is real. He is real. There are so many 
You know, these days they say people want receipts these days. People want to see miracles. God is still in the miracle business. Don't let anybody tell you any different. Hmm? The people that follow me around cannot deny what they're seeing with their own eyes. Hmm? Guys, when I was at my lowest, you know what they told me? When I was at my lowest, people said, even your dad, even God doesn't answer you. It's not the worst thing that somebody has said to me, but I said, huh? I couldn't even actually believe that somebody said it. And obviously, it was somebody from my neck of the woods. But guys, I want you to know that God is real. I am living testament. I am living testament to the power of the Almighty. Hmm? Abba Father, my Elohim, who sent his son, Yeshua Adonai to come and die on the cross of Calvary for our sins No matter what you have done you can come to God because that is another myth that people have Some people feel that they cannot come to God. Some people are embarrassed to speak to God the creator of the universe the heavens and the earth Everything that the eye can see God created it hmm? Everything that the eye can see, God created it. If something happens, he allows it happen. Sometimes things happen so that God can actually show his supremacy. Because like I said, a lot of people don't believe that he exists. You know, like when people see places that are in the Bible, they are shocked. Why would you be shocked if you actually believe that God is real? Yeah? Yeah. When we see and discover all of these places that are actually real, why are people shocked? Why, why are you shocked when you know that he walked this earth? He walked this earth. Hmm? It's not a story. It's not a fairy tale. He walked the earth. So you should not be surprised when you, you find this place that is in the Bible. I don't understand why people are always shocked about that. I think it is a testament to our faith and our belief and to the way that we see God. Because people see God, some people think of God as this, I don't know, some sort of fairy tale character in our minds. He exists. He is real. And... I'm going to conclude this video by saying, if you do not believe in the reality of Elohim, ask him for something that only he can do. That is the ultimate test. That is the ultimate test. If you have a problem with discernment, because a lot of people do, even those of us who are true believers, some of us actually have a problem discerning the voice of God. This is what I will say to you. If you have a problem with discernment, if you think, oh, that's not God speaking to me, that might be the devil. Just ask him to speak to you in a way that only he could. Say to him, give me, Abba Father, or oh Lord Jesus, Holy Spirit, give me the spirit of discernment so that when you speak to me, I would move. I would move by your command. You will be moved to action. You will find yourself moving. You won't even know what you're doing. Eh? Until when he decides to reveal himself to you. Then you will understand why you took that action that you took. But guys, this is obviously the present that he has given to me to cheer me up. Obviously, because he knows that they tried to kill me. Yeah? They tried to take my eye out you know for obvious reasons but look at this garden because he knows that this is one of my places that i just come 